hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial so in today's video we're going to be doing something different from what we are normally used to i'm going to show you guys how to sketch a croquis and this is going to help you create your different designs that you'd like to come up with as a fashion designer so we're going to first of all explain what a croquis is a croquis is a drawing of a fashion model that is traced over to design clothing in simple um, definition that is what a croquis means so we're going to move on to the tools you will need for this tutorial you are going to need a sketchbook if you do not have a sketchbook you can make use of an a4 paper the same thing i'm making use of for this tutorial a ruler a pencil and an eraser so let's get right into the video now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to draw a straight line at the center of our paper here so guys there are 9 head croquis and there's also 10 head croquis but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to be doing a 9 head croquis so after ruling the line we're going to go ahead to mark 1 inch in 9 places on this line we went ahead to rule out i hope you can see it because of the light i was using it wasn't as clear as i wanted it to be but you can see the lines so i'm going to mark 1 inch here and i'm going to do that in nine places all the way down on that line we went ahead to rule out after marking out one inch we're going to go ahead to extend these lines from the markings we made so we're just going to create lines all the way down so you can see what i'm doing here So this is what we have and it's just serving as a guide for beginners so you know how to draw your croquis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to number this all the way down. So if you're working on a 9 head croquis, your numbering is going to end at 10. But if you're working on a 10 head croquis, your numbering is going to end at 11. So we're going to start by drawing out our head and our head is going to sit in between 1 and 2. So we're going to start by creating a circle but not a full circle. This circle we're going to create here is going to serve as a guide to curve our head shape. So you can see what the circle is looking like. Now from the sides of the circle I'm going to go ahead to create a curve all the way to the center of the line we have here. Next, we're going to draw out our shoulders and our shoulder is going to sit in between 2 and 3. So we're going to divide that into 2. So we're going to divide that, divide 1 inch into 2 which is going to be half inch. So I'm going to rule out the line here. This is where our shoulder and our neckline is going to sit. So I'm going to go ahead to curve our neck all the way down. Next, I'm going to go ahead to come out on both sides by 2 cm. So I'm going to mark it on this side as well as the other side. And I'm going to create circles. The circles are just going to serve as a guide for us to create our curve from the neck all the way to the shoulder area. It's going to serve as sort of like a guide to create a curve at the sides here the way you see me doing. So I'm just ruling out from my neck area down to the shoulders. Next, we're going to work on the waist area. The waist is going to sit on the fourth line here. So I'm going to mark out one centimeter on both sides. After marking one centimeter on both sides from three here, I'm going to go ahead to curve this all the way to 4 to create our waistline. Our hip is going to be placed on the 5th line here. So I'm going to mark 
2.2 centimeters on this point here as well as the opposite side this is going to serve as a guide for us to call from the fourth line down to the fifth line to create our hip So while curving this down, I didn't want too much of an exaggerated hip look there. So I didn't take this all the way down to the point where I marked out. I'm moving down to the seventh line to create circles there. This is going to serve as a guide for our knee and also a guide for us to call from the fifth line down to the seventh line to create our legs. So for a beginner you would want to have your circles here looking slightly bigger than the one I drew out here just so you're able to achieve this very well because you can see that the line I drew down did not totally meet to the circle I um, carved out. Now I'm just going to from the fifth line as well curve all the way to the seventh line as well for the inner side of our thighs. So moving on, we're going to go ahead to the ninth line to carve out slightly smaller circles than the one we have on the seventh line. This is going to serve as where our ankle is going to sit. So from the seventh line, we're going to go ahead to carve this down to the ninth line to further elongate our legs. As a beginner, you would want to practice as much as you can to get this right. So don't worry if you don't get it right at the first try and if you're going to be trying this out feel free to send me a picture on my instagram so i can see what you ended up with so i went ahead to draw the inner sides of our legs down to our ankle as you can see now we're going to go ahead to just take this down to our feet so our feet is going to sit at the tenth line This is what our figure is looking like so far and we need hands for our figure so we're going to fix the hands i'm going to create small circles on the fourth line this is where our elbow is going to sit and from our shoulder i'm going to drag this down to the elbow point you can freestyle with this when you practice more to decide how you want your fashion figure hands to be I'm just going to be doing something really simple on this one so after drawing this down i'm going to go to the fifth line for our wrist the fifth line is where our wrist is going to sit so i'm dragging this to meet with the wrist and then for this one here i'm just going to take this behind my fashion figure covering this to the back this is going to be one pose like a really basic pose we're doing right now then for the opposite side we're going to create hands for our fashion figure so i'm just covering this down so this is what our basic croquis is looking like i'm going to go ahead to use a black pen to outline this just so you see clearly what we've done so far. So what the croquis is used for, like I said earlier in the video, is to draw designs on it. Just so you know what your design will look like on a human body. That is essentially what it's used for. So at the end of the video, you would see an example of what I was able to achieve with my own croquis.
So this is what the final result of our fashion figure is looking like. And this is what it looks like after drawing our design on it. With that, we've come to the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed watching and you found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed already. And if you'd like me to put out more content like this, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye guys.